Hello and welcome along to another Raygun.io screencast. In this video, I'll be showing you how easy it is to integrate Raygun into your GitHub issue tracker. This means once you've got Raygun integrated into your web, mobile or even desktop application, once a user causes an error to be automatically sent, where it is then visible on your Raygun dashboard, you can then add it directly to your GitHub issue tracker with a couple of clicks. The second a user generates an error, your team can know about it. Integrating it is easy. To do this, go to your app's Raygun dashboard, click on Application Settings, then Plugins below it. You want to click on the GitHub tab, then it's pretty self-explanatory, click on the GitHub button down here. Next you'll need to log in, and then it asks you for a huge scary list of permissions. Currently we only use the ability to post your issue tracker when you request it from Raygun. In the future we'll add a feature that when you close an issue in GitHub with a pull request, or by referencing it in a comment with closes hash 12 for instance, it will automatically mark the linked error as resolved in Raygun. If you have any questions about this, please contact us or make a post in the support forums. So once you've allowed that, you'll be sent back to Raygun. To verify that it was successful, go to your account settings page in GitHub and then click on the applications button. You will see that Raygun is now authorised to access your tracker. If you are having issues, in particular a 404 error, note that you must have a name set in your public profile in addition to your email. This is required when using third party applications with your GitHub account, so if you are having trouble, add a name. Ok, so the next step is to go back to your Raygun dashboard. Here you will see that your repositories are in the drop down list. Select one, click enabled and then hit save. The GitHub button will turn blue when it's enabled. Head back to the main dashboard and the next thing we need is an error. So I'm going to start up a Rails server to send one using the new Rails provider. Cool, so that's done. So this site over here is going to generate and send a synthetic exception when the index is requested. So, back in the dashboard, you can see that the exception has appeared down the bottom here. And there it is. So a user has caused an error to occur, we know about it in Raygun, so here's how to make it appear in your GitHub issue tracker. Drill down into the error and you'll find the GitHub button is located at the top right. Give it a click and then we can link to an existing issue or create a new one. I'm going to be doing the latter. So we click that, and there it is, and it's given us a link to view it in GitHub. So we can open that, we'll just wait for it to load, and there it is. So as usual, we can comment about it, and when it's all sorted, we can close it. Another really handy feature is that a link back to the error in Raygun is provided in the comment. This makes it so that any of your team members can automatically view it. Everyone has full knowledge of what's going on at all times. So as you'd expect, by clicking on the link, we can arrive back at Raygun. And there it is. So we think that's a pretty huge time saver. It's easy to automatically generate errors from your users, and then you can place it right in your issue tracker so everyone knows about it instantly. We think it speeds up your workflow by a ton. If you like it, or have any questions or comments, feel free to place them here or in the support forums at raygun.io. Thanks for watching.